Well, hello everyone. How are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone XR on the iOS 17 public beta. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hype. Let's dive right in today's video and talk about the iPhone XR on the iOS 17 public beta and how it is performing. Is it worth installing it on your iPhone XR? And what all issues I am facing on my device after installing this update? My name is Jay. You are watching Tech Hype. Let's get right in today's video. I have been using this version on my device for past few days yes even before it the public beta was out because i was using the beta 3 re-release the ios 17 beta 3 re-release which came out a day before public beta that is basically the same as public beta so basically i was using the public beta a day earlier so i have a good amount of experience of using it on my device and now what i am going to share my experience with you guys will be much more closer to what you will feel after installing it on your device because i very well know this version and even the battery life let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time my name is jay you are watching tech hyped if you are new here please Please hit that subscribe button because I am really really close to 10k and I want to get to 10k subscribers as soon as we can. It would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button as it is my birthday on 31st of July and it is my dream to get to 10k subscribers before my birthday or on my birthday. So please help me reach my goal which is 10k. Now that you have hit that subscribe button, let's talk about iOS 17 public beta on iPhone XR. Starting up with the performance. The performance of the public beta 1 of ios 17 is really solid not gonna lie it performs much smoother than ios 16 because ios 17 has improved the animations the animations on ios 17 feels noticeably more smoother and responsive now i haven't done a proper speed test but in day-to-day -day task it is basically the same but uh, I have an instinct that it will be a second or two slower if you compare it to iOS 16.6 or iOS 16.5.1. In short, the performance will be a, just a little bit slow. The animations will be really good, which will just clear it out and it will just even out the performance lag because the animations will be faster. So your brain will automatically think the app is opening quicker. But still, in real world, the apps will be opening a little slower compared to iOS 16. Because iOS 17 is a new version and it is yet to be properly optimized for a lot of apps. Apps have not received any updates to support iOS 17 or iOS 17 itself isn't optimized properly right now. So we have to give Apple some time. We have to give developers some time and improve the performance of our devices. Your iPhone XR will definitely perform better as the time goes on. Now talking about the battery life. This is something which a lot of you guys have main questions about because as devices get old, the battery life degrades. And as the battery life degrades, we have uh, anxiety of battery. Yes, that's completely normal. And I know battery is one of the biggest consideration when you are updating a new version on your iPhone, especially iPhone. iPhones are just not good in terms of battery life compared to Android or any other device. The iPhone XR performs surprisingly well. Even if you have low battery health, it will not disappoint you that much. My iPhone XR has 81% of battery health. Yeah, it, it has its time to be replaced really, really soon but it is performing really good i'm easily getting five hours plus of screen on time which is for a fact five hours plus screen on time is really really good for a device with 81 percent of battery health and that too the biggest factor playing here is that it is on a beta iphone on a beta and that too with 81 percent of battery health uh, 5 hours plus is really good and 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 don't worry i know if you're new to ios because a lot of people are new to ios this year there are a lot of people who are installing betas for the first time because apple has made it free for everyone so there will be a lot of new people enrolling in the betas it don't don't have this anxiety because this is pretty normal if you want to experience the new features and changes you have to give up on battery life and five hours plus for the details i gave you five hours plus on iphone 10r with 81 percent of battery health and i'm saying that this is good 
yes this is good because it is a beta and betas are notorious to perform bad in terms of battery health let me tell you a thing it should have been performing even worse than this if history is an indication because last year the ios 16 public beta my iphone 10r with 91 percent of battery health was performing even worse than this so keeping that in consideration that's why i'm saying that this year the ios 17 in terms of battery on the iphone 10r is really really good now talking about the stability the stability of the iphone 10r is really amazing as well apple is focusing more on stability this year so that applies the same on the iphone 10r as well the iphone 10r is really stable on this version i have not received any major issues the temperature does get a little bit warm compared to ios 16 but that is also an issue which will be resolved really soon within the next one or two betas and in order to know when it will be resolved if make sure to hit that subscribe button because i will be updating you guys about this issue on my future videos so hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already this video was also requested from one of my subscribers so if you are willing me to make a video on the topic of your wish let me know down in comments below i will make sure to make a video on that topic you just name it and I will make a video in a day or two for you. Then talking about the standby feature, there are a lot of people who were confused that does iPhone XR support standby feature or does it support the new stickers feature? Yes, iPhone XR does support the new stickers feature. It does support most of the new features except one of the biggest feature it lacks is the studio lighting and the reactions feature. Now that is something which is really weird. I want Apple to add them in the future betas because yes, we still have possibilities that Apple may add these feature in the future updates. I have made a separate video on what feature I'm talking about. I'm talking about the FaceTime reaction and the studio lighting on camera, which means it is basically portrait mode applied on your face on video calls. Yes, that feature was already present, but on the iOS 17, they have made it even better and you can use studio lighting with portrait. I will link the video of the feature I'm talking about up in the iCard or below the like button so you can watch my video on that topic. That feature is not available on the iPhone XR which I really really miss whenever I try to use my iPhone XR after using my iPhone 12 or 13. In conclusion, the iPhone XR performs really good and the answer to the question, should you install this version on your iPhone XR? The answer is yes and no at the same time. If you are using your iPhone XR as your primary device, I would still say you stay away from it and install the Beta 2 or the Beta 3. I'm talking about the public Beta 2 or the Beta 3. So install those versions not the beta one if you are using your device as primary device but if you still want to install it on your device then what you should do is take a backup of your device and then install it that's pretty much it for today's episode if you did watch this video till the end and liked watching this video please hit that subscribe button i will catch you guys in the very next episode please help me reach 10k it is my goal please share this video and let your friends know about me and Help me reach 10k. Thank you so much. I will catch you guys in the very next episode.